I'm at Parkour and we're going to interview Craig Harrison for the press conference and then I'm going to write, publish and share the match preview for the game this weekend against Chirk. And it will be, without exaggerating it, a, a David versus Goliath mm. affair in many ways. And Chirk have absolutely nothing to lose. They can take to that game without any pressure whatsoever. Yeah, they can, you know, without a shadow of doubt. They've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And, and it's the exact opposite for ourselves. We've got nothing to gain with everything to lose. So if if, if it's a close game, then it'll be, well, TNS should do better. If it's a, if it's a game where we beat them comfortably, then it'll be TNS should do that in... in you know, in on paper, and and clearly that's probably the way things should be. But we all know football is not played on paper, and that's why I think everyone loves football so much. There's there's that many opportunities for teams with smaller budgets, smaller resources, to to have a get a one-off result. So that's where we've got to make sure that we've trained well this week. The lads have really worked hard, and they'll um, we'll be doing our final preparations on Friday. And um, there certainly won't be any complacency from our camp. Kreuza Ilwain, welcome to Chirk. Are you okay? half time Chirk took a 1-0 lead in the second half then the new Saints had a penalty Declan McManus hit the crossbar two minutes later Keston Davis leveled the score with a header from a corner that's how it was come the 90 minutes no extra time went to penalties and the new Saints won 4-2